Game 3 of the NBA Finals. The Boston Celtics with a Game 3 opportunity to dig themselves out of a 2-0 hole. They will need to bring all they can muster against the Dallas Mavericks. The NBA postseason coming up next. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And reporting from the sidelines all game long, we've got David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Warford and Porzingis are manning the post position. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. And for Dallas. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Washington out there with Hardaway. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. Taking a look at Boston. Well, Greg, they were so confident coming into this series. Now suddenly they find themselves in desperation mode. And no doubt, Kevin, this is a feeling that's got to be unfamiliar. Well, they've had a wonderful season. Everything was going their way. But in these last couple of games, we've seen some cracks in their arm. We certainly have. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Doncic against Holiday. Persingas with a screen on Doncic. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Excellent addition to Rod. Luca with the nice feed. Holiday against Doncic. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's Doncic. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. To the middle. Here's Gafford. Great D that time from Tatum. Fantastic defense giving full effort. Holiday finds Tatum. Holiday with it. Guarded now by Hurt. Tatum wide open. He fires one. That's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Tatum's got five. No second thoughts from Tatum. Just look. He's ready. Holiday against Doncic. And stolen by Horford. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Here's Tatum, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's on by Luka Doncic. First smart play by Tatum. Using the fake to get the contact. Get to the line. Two. Easy to. Well, Celtics shooting their first free throws of this game. And the first one at the line is good. Tatum nails them both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Andrews outside. And the foul on through Holiday. <laughs> that is his first foul of the game. First team foul. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. For the screen on Tatum. Offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Outside Holiday. Green is Brown. Ivy the lane. And here's Porzingis for a three. And it's rebounded by Dallas. And sometimes on defense. You can just get lucky. Moving against Brown. Pass to Gafford. Passes it to Doncic. 
Shot clock at five. No good on the three. Austin's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Doncic against Holiday. Here's Brown and Holiday. Outside Tatum. Warford sets a screen for Tatum. A rebound by Washington. Mavericks trail by three. Outside Irving. And Doncic throws it down. His passing has always been a staple of his career. Not too many are better at dishing than Kyrie. Holiday against Doncic. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. That three off the mark. Mavericks have gone 50% of the field, hitting 3-6 since the opening tip. And here's Doncic from the arc. Sinks the triple. Doncic has got five points so far. And that way near the top, handling the ball. Luka sneaking out to the corner there, getting three for three. The pass to Holiday. Off the run. And the rejection by Kaffer. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Richard, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And each year, it seems Brown keeps getting better at shooting the ball, especially from the mid-range. Anjic passes to Irving. A floater for Zingas with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off for Zingas. Austin on D. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. That's an open look and hits. Hardaway has got his second best. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Doncic against Holiday. Horford with a screen on Hardaway. He hits Brown with the drive and finished off by Brown. Speed on display there from Brown. This man can turn on the Jets. He has another gear. The Mavericks have gone 5-9 from the field here in the first. Anjic passes to Irving. There's the triple. Here's Lively. They shoot again. Bucket is good. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. Right side for Zingas. Holiday, no one around here. Trills the three-pointer. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. And Dallas time calls out, time their out. first time out of the game. Start it. A different look for Dallas. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Washington. Josh Green comes in for Hardaway. And it's Hardy in for Kyrie Irving. And so here is Dallas. Jones finds Green. Here's Doncic. No good. That puts him at two for six. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of mirror ugly, but it's getting there. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Well, Kyrie passes to Tatum. Free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. The strengths man by Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw out. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. So 
Tatum nails them both. And here are the Mavericks now. It's a three-point game. Here's Harden. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. He squares up in sinks it. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. There's a screen. Here's Tatum. Misses from close range. Jason Tatum he has been the story so far for Boston. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be right back after this. from game three. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats one. Just they've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Especially on the road, you want to come in aggressive. Let everyone in this arena know that you are here to play. Irving is out there with Hardy. Then there's Derek Jones. And it's Green, and it's Wifley in at the front. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Now here's Tatum. Excellent B that time from Jones. Green dishes to Irving. And Jones has it in the corner. Buries it from three-point range. Jones has got the lead up to four now for the man. So skilled at finding these opportunities and making these opportunities. I read he makes the right pass to the right guy at the right time. Tatum with it. Now Green defending. Springer the pass to Hauser. Tatum against Jones. Five on the clock. The eight foot. Tatum shot is off. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Craig, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They need this. Here's Tillman. The Celtics working the ball around now. Tatum pulled out one of his many moves. Once Tatum's around the contact, it's over. A little room, just a little, is all that's needed for him to score. Pass to Hardy. Back to Irving. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to Tatum down low. Broken on Jones. And slam dunk by Tatum. Ooh, how about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rod. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Irving. And the bucket is good. Three-point play change here for him. Superb concentration from Irving. He's excellent at sticking with his shot through contact. Washington's checked in for the Mavericks. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Mavericks. Showing their energy so far. Sprinting up and down the floor. Getting out and transitioning. Taking advantage. And they've also refused to give up on their plays so they're chasing after their shots and just working hard for second chance. Now here's Tatum. He's got 13. Outside, Brzingis. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. 
Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second, and I think they'll keep him in. But he's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. Al Horford has checked in for Boston. Brown comes in for Pritchard. Doncic, no good. Had enough room to finish, and that's why he'll finish the night. There's Tatum. And Tatum hammers it home. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. Look, look he is a sensational scorer. Like, we understand that. When he gets into a rhythm. Avert yeah, gets to green. On deep. Rebound by the Celtics. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Porzingis with a screen on Hartle. Outside, Porzingis. And it's all evened up. Porzingis has got five now. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Green, the pass to Doncic. Green with a screen on Holiday. Holiday against Doncic. Over Holiday. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, it's him right now. He's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through. Tatum, that's good. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. And the Mavericks call time here. Saturday was a great victory for him. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Green. Pritchard, he's checked in for Boston. Boston on D. Three-point lead. Irving for three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Pass to Horford. Here's Brzingis. Covered by Gap. Nice move. And it's Porzingis laying it in. Porzingis has got seven points for the quarter. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Irving finds Doncic. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first half. Basket good. Doncic has got it all tied up now for Dallas. And sometimes there's just nothing you can do against Doncic. He's terrific at keeping his focus on the rim. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. The bucket on the assist by Porzingis. Holiday's got five. And I have no clue how he got that on the ball. Pulling some magic in the midair and torturing the defense in the process. In the dunk by Doncic. From ultra close range, Doncic. 35 seconds left here in the second. Here's Pritchard. No scoring in this one. Out to Porzingis, and stolen by Kyrie Irving. And now Irving pushing it up, no one back to stop him. Drops in the breakaway lane, and the Mavericks lead by two. And look, if you get Kyrie in the open floor, it's going to be a problem because, you know what, he's pretty much unstoppable when you get there. Now here's Brown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Red free throw good from Brown. Brown now an elite scorer in this league. Really does it all. And Brown drops them both. Five seconds left to play here in the half. 
Hardaway for three. And Brown is known for being an incredible defender, able to guard multiple positions. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard-fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking and get the ball in the paint. Use that link to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Greetings, one and all. The postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Boston Celtics. Playoff atmosphere. Hostile environment, man. They're handling the pressure, putting themselves in a good spot to win. Hard to focus with thousands of fans screaming at you. They've stayed in it. They've stayed confident. Looking at how the Celtics are doing in this series. They're holding on in this final series, or in this game at least, managing to send us into halftime with the score tied. I mean, it doesn't get any closer than this. The pressure is on, and this game could go either way in my mind. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, and with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. His performance shows no sign of any nerves. Great job controlling your emotion. On the court right now for the Celtics, the talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Horford and Porzingis are man in the post position. And it's Holiday in at the point. Now here is Horford. Still scoreless. Here's Tatum. Tatum slipped by the contact inside. What muscle on that finish. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Irving with the bounce pass. Washington sets the pick for Doncic. Beyond the arc. For three. Doncic fearless against the defense. And the defense has to be aggressive with Luka from range. Give him any space, and he is looking to pull. Holiday with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Holiday with the pass to Persingas. Outside. Oh, good on the triple. Mavericks leading by three. It's Washington, high post. Tatum on him. Gafford inside, guarded by Tatum. Good. Gafford's got four this quarter. Yeah, and I like what they've been doing down low in the post. Brown clearing out of it. Here's Persingas. It's rebounded by Dallas. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Here's Washington, and then Washington with the dunk. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. They're going for the throat. Tatum gets the horse. Good, it's Tatum picking up the assist. Horford's got his first three points of the game. And that's how you want to get Horford his touches, within the flow of the offense, preferably right off the catch. Irving dishes to Doncic. Over Holiday. And that's collected by Drew Holiday. Celtics trail by four. Horford the pass to Brown. Small movement by Boston. Horford with a screen on Hardaway. Outside, Horford. Six to shoot. And again, Boston with the triple. And not every big 
can hit from there. But Horford has that versatility because that man has put in work. Now here's Irving. He's got 14. Doncic, no good. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. For the lead. And it's Brown missing. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Celtics making the switch here. Tillman's checked in. Substitution. For Dallas, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Tillman passes to Tatum. Picks one up. And shooting wise, he's been fantastic. Helping to build this lead. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Here's Irving. And the Mavericks call time here. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Well, he's been destroying them inside, and they need a timeout to figure out an answer or a prayer if there is one. Take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. In the third spot, Jason Tatum. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Hardaway. Out to Doncic. Looking to end the run. Two. Much Luka. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the panel. Holiday to pass the ball. Driving in and the top by Brown. Sail it to chess, young fella. Jason Brown with the strong finish. For Dallas, they've gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. To the paint. And Gafford throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley? He absolutely hammered it down. A three from Tatum. And again, Boston with the triple. <laughs> Come on. Like, when Tatum's hitting the pull-up, what is the defense supposed to do at that point? Irving passes to Doncic. Fires from the wing. Porzingis with the rebound. Persingas has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Tatum gets to Holland. One twenty-seven left in the third quarter of the game. Over in the corner, Brown. Just five on the clock. Persingas sets the pick for Tatum. Shoots over Gafford. Tatum, no good. Average trail by three. Here's Irving. Buries the jumper to finish the break. Irving's got 16. High effort play from Kyrie in transition, taking full advantage of the open court in fast break. Holiday against Doncic. Holiday the pass to Tillman. Outside Holiday. Tatum with it. And slammed up by Tatum. This is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and a finish. Just light work. Passes to Gaffer. The pass to Irving. For this screen on Brown. Back to Gaffer. And stolen by Tatum. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Tillman passes to Tatum. Washington against Porzingis. Back to Tatum. No good on the last second attempt there. We've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. Austin on top. 
ending the third quarter with a massive 16-6 run. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Serving it up on a batter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. They've got Hardy. Green is out there with Washington. Then there's Irving. And it's Lively in at the center. It's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Now, here's Washington. Kicks to Green. Washington passes to Irving. On the wing, Irving. Got it. And he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. <laughs> Just another night at the office for Kyrie. Loving the incredible offensive team. There's the screen. Tatum passes to Cornette. And he makes that one. And the Celtics lead by three. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Outside Irving. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. An absolute master close to the rim. He has literally every finish possible. Kyrie has such a strong sense for how to score around that basket. Stolen by Washington. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, guys. During the break, listen in with Joe Mazzula and his team. Now, they told the team, we're winning this game with our defense. All we need is a couple of stops. Keep your focus. We'll see if they can close it out. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. The Celtics with the lead. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Tatum passes to Cornette. Out to Porzingis. Jacks up a three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Green left side. It's Washington high post. He's against Porzingis. They get the rebound. Ivory. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. to shoot. Here's Hardy, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Jalen Brown. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. In a moment, I'll quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Boston. You've got to be impressed with how assertive they are on offense, continuing to cut hard to the rim time and time again. And the other thing you notice is how committed they've been to playing with the pass. Constantly moving that ball from one side to the other. Now, here's Brown. Outside Tatum. There's the pick. Inside Tatum. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Now, here's Hardy. He's covered by Brown. Washington with a screen on Brown. Now, here's Hardy. Defense is right there. From deep, Washington. The rebound by the Celtics. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. 
Porzingis with a screen on Hartle. And Tatum driving. And the rejection by Kaffer. And the Mavericks with some changes. Maxi Kleba is checked in for Washington. And Doncic is subbed in for Harden. Here's Brown. And it's good. Two points. And that's 10 points for Jalen Brown. Sometimes Brown just looks unstoppable. A little contact doesn't bother him at all. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Shoots over Brown. Here's Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Oh, and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Now Orford checked in for Luke Cornett. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Tatum with it. Hardaway picks him up. Brown the pass to Persingas. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum drives in. Out to Persingas. Lock at six. Horford against Cleveland. Tatum dishes to Horford. Here is Hardaway. Pass to Doncic. Now, Kleba. Outside Irving. To take the lead. Rebounded by the Celtics. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Down kicks to Tatum. Pick out to Brown. Outside Holiday. In the corner. Tatum with it. And the Celtics can't hang on to the ball. Oh, I see. Picking the worst time to lose control. This is why patience is the key in big moments, people. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Now, here's Doncic. And there's the whistle. The legal screen. And you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Tatum against Hardaway. Tatum down low. Manchich with the steal. Here's Irving. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. They came close there to tie it up. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty six seconds left in the fourth. Doncic against Howard. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Incredible 
Doncic decides he wants to take over and, and use his personnel. Comes up with the goods on that team. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. We got to try to extend the game. Right on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Well, Tatum does look ready, prepared to do what he does best in the clutch. Get buckets. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Gets them to fall, and those are huge free throws. It's now a two-possession game. Dallas calls timeout. They're down by five. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? They're trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. Yeah, and it has to be fast. They got to take the first good look they get. Seventeen seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Irving. Jalen Brown with the rebound. And so they choose to intentionally foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. It's the first, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Now, Doncic fires away from way outside. No good. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. Things were looking bleak for him, obviously, coming into this game. But with tonight's win, Greg, they are right back in it. And that's the fight this team has. That they don't care what the odds are. They are going to keep battling. And suddenly, we got a series on our hands. Mm, we sure do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Al. The coach mentioned he wanted to come into this building and do whatever was necessary to win. Did you think you guys had the intensity to get that done? Yeah, no question. I, I like the energy from our team from the beginning. Um, you know, uh, to be able to come in here and, and get a win like this, it, it feels good. Great row win tonight, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Jason Tatum.